Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collab with the lovely Elaine from Hmm Makeup. I'll link her up in the eye cards. I think it's on the side or the side or whatever and I'll link her down below. So this is actually not our first collab. It's our second collab and today's one is a international makeup swap. So I'm from Ireland, if you don't already know, and Elaine is from Canada. So we decided to get each other some makeup to the value of 100 euro or 100 Canadian dollars. So she'll get products that's not accessible for me and vice versa. That was kind of the goal. It's nice to get makeup for someone who's really into it. But then again, you have to remember, I need to get them products that A, is not accessible, as easily accessible in North America. B, something that they would like versus something that I would like. So our previous collab was a get ready with me where we asked each other questions. So she had some questions for me. I had some questions for Elaine and we got ready with products that we both picked out for each other. So at the time, Elaine saw my whole collection and she picked the products and vice versa. And we tried to come up with a look based off of that. So it was actually really fun. and I'd like to do it again. So if you want to see it, I'll link it. So I'm on YouTube nine months right now and I have got very close with Elaine. I really enjoy her content. She posts videos, panning videos, because she posts videos on everything. She's so informative and articulate. I love her swatches, swatching videos, because they're just, you can actually see them properly. She has a series on her channel at the moment where you pick the makeup that she's going to wear. She'll give you a number ratio from one to 78, say for eyeshadow palettes, and then one to 50 for face palettes, and then one to, I'm making these numbers up, one to 10 for other categories. You pick it, you pick numbers, and then she'll come on camera and tell you what makeup we've actually chosen and she'll use that for a couple of weeks. I love that one. And I love, pretty much she has a video for everything. And she recently did one on Cleona Cosmetics, not recently, but they're within the last couple of months on Cleona Cosmetics that I really enjoyed as well. So if you go over to her channel, I'm sure you'll find something that you'll love. So the products I'm gonna show you today are the products that I'm getting for Elaine. Now we've agreed not to look at each other's videos, so don't tell me what she's getting me, please. It's meant to be a surprise. But I'm showing you what I'm getting and she'll show you what she's getting me. So it's a surprise to the value of 100 euro. And I was kind of scared because makeup over here is so expensive that I was like, gosh, what am I gonna get that's like 100 euros? This is hard. But I ended up going a bit over the 100, um, but I'll show you what I got. The first product I got for Elaine was a lip kit from So Sumi. So So Sumi, so Sumi is an Irish brand. It's set up by a girl called Suzanne Jackson, who was a vlogger, influencer, blogger. And now she makes makeup and fake tan. And my gosh, her fake tan spray is unreal. The dripping gold water. So I haven't used this lip kit. A girl in work has used it and said it's really nice. So I obviously don't have these products. I wanted to get something that was specifically for Elaine and specifically uh, not necessarily easily accessible for her which was actually hard. So this is the lip kit in the shade Oh Boy, and that is it there. So there's a lip liner and a lip uh, liquid lipstick. So I don't want to open it, but I just wanted to show it to you. So it's, th so that's that. So this is the first thing that I'm getting her. So these parts are going in no particular order. I'm just pulling them off this little pile that I have. So the next product that I got, Elaine, was a, an eyeshadow palette from Ace Beauté, or Butte. And I, when I was speaking to Elaine, I gathered that this brand was not something that was accessible to her. This and the next one. So here, the packaging is gorgeous. It's called Classical Paradise. And these are the shades here. So, Elaine, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. I gathered from Elaine that she likes greens and purples. But, and I know she has a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I thought that this might be something different for her to try, you know? How exciting! I look forward to seeing her video to see if this is any good. It's so hard to buy something for someone else and not buy stuff for yourself. <laughs> the next one is an eyeshadow palette from Certify. So this is sealed in plastic wrap so I won't open it but if I can find a photo I will link it on the screen of what it looks like on the inside. I hope you enjoy this video but anyway it's it's the Destiny palette and here is where it is. Now I look, let me just look. So 
so this palette was a brand also that when we were talking she kind of had a kind of gather that was also not that accessible so this one says sometimes you have to fall before you fly on the back of it so i'm just looking at a photo here of what it looks like so hopefully you'll see it on the screen it appears to be a quite a colorful palette and again ooh, look at those reds there's a green in there called moss that's speaking to me on other levels as well but yes, this is a colorful palette that I'm after getting her as well. Not sure mattes. So it says that there's a mixture of mattes and shimmers in here. So I'm hoping that this is another one that Elaine may enjoy. So this one is the Certify Affinity palette. And it says, what does it say here? As with any journey who you travel with can be more important than your destination. There you go. Packaging is actually beautiful and again if I haven't mentioned it this is by Certify. So from looking here it's sealed in plastic wrap and I don't want to open it again. This one is more of a pink and purple colour. Oh god that's gorgeous as well. I'm wondering, I'm curious to hear what Elaine has to say about the formula of this. It appears also that this brand is cruelty free which is worth noting for those guys who are in Europe. Come at me, Europe! It says that there's 18 shades in here as well. I'm not sure if there's any shimmers in here, but it, maybe there, it appears that it could potentially be all mattes. This one here is 18 shadows of 1.4 grams or 0 0.5 ounces for those of you guys who work off of that metric. I think we're doing quite well for the 100 euro mark. Do you know? I know I went slightly over it, but considering, you know, I was so scared because I wanted to get stuff and I was like, how am I going to get stuff? Like 100 euro is a lot of money, but it just does not go anywhere over here. Well, if we, we have L'Oreal and stuff accessible, but aside from that. So if you watch Elaine's videos, you know that she has quite a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Well, in my opinion. So I obviously got eyeshadow palettes, but I wanted to get something else that, you know, wasn't an eyeshadow palette. So I got the OPV highlighter in the shame Glamour O Rousse. And it is a London brand, a London-based brand, as far as I'm aware, by two ladies who set it up. Here is the product. I hope that it's not too dark for her complexion. This is the OPV packaging for the highlighter. And it's, as I said, it's in the shade Glam O Rousse. And there's 16 grams in here, so that's quite big. And as I said, this is a London-based product, so surely that has to fit into the criteria. <laughs> Again, I'm curious to see. Hopefully she will like this one also. So lastly, I decided to get an additional product. This is more of a gift, but I'm a far, as far as I'm aware, Elaine is also putting something in my box on account of this, but she doesn't need to, but she's that nice of a person. <laughs> but Elaine has mentioned a few times on her, on her, in her videos, and then people have commented underneath her videos suggesting that she uses the product Juraline from Inglot. So, so that's what it looks like. So instead of opening this, I actually have my own one here focus that's it there so there is nine mils in here and you can use it to pretty much liven up paint pots turn eyeliners eyeshadows into eyeliners it's kind of a, a gel it's not quite an oil it's a little bit more thick of a formula but i said that i'd get her that as well since people have been telling her to try it she seems keen to try it and I wanted to get it first. What we're going to do is we're going to arrange for shipping and once it gets to each other we're going to post a video of us opening the boxes which I'm excited for. I hope you enjoy it. Me seeing open the products that she got me and my reaction at products that I can't get over here easily which is pretty much everything <laughs> and vice versa. Elaine's going to open these and I hope that she likes them. Oh, fingers crossed. But I'm really excited. I'm glad to be doing another collab with her and I do suggest checking out her content because it's legit good. Sorry guys, this top has been causing me an awful lot of issues here today. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, I, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, but I'll see you the next time. And thanks so much for watching, genuinely. Bye.